Hello, and welcome to Glam BS Dairy Focus. In this episode, our nutritionist, Delaine Brady, takes us through the weaning process for dairy calves. Weaning can be a stressful period for calves as they transition from a liquid diet to a total solid diet, but also transitioning from a milk protein source to a vegetable protein source. There are several factors that need to be considered when weaning calves, and one of the most important factors is room development. So how do we assess that the rumen is fully developed in the calf? And this is by monitoring how much the calves consume in terms of concentrates. So calves in single pens should be consuming at least one kg of concentrates per day. Calves reared in groups should be consuming at least one and a half kgs of concentrates per head per day. Other factors to consider is also whether calves are healthy, um, and whether they're under any stress. So it's important to avoid any stressful events during weaning. These may include dehorning, castration, regrouping, or uh, sudden, sudden changes in the diet. It's also important to provide a source of fiber, uh, whether it's hay or straw, and fresh clean water, both during the pre-weaning and post-weaning period. Research has shown that providing a fibre source pre-weaning has benefits post-weaning. So it increases average daily gain, increases dry matter intake and also helps um, reach those weight targets. Gradual or stepped weaning can reduce the stress for calves around weaning by gradually reducing the volume of milk over uh, 7 to 10 days and also moving from twice a day feeding to once a day feeding. So this allows the calf to adjust to lower volumes of milk and increase in the solid feed intake in terms of concentrates and forage. With the improved weather conditions and plenty of grass outside, farmers may be considering to letting their calves out uh, to grass. What's important to remember that uh, grass is not the best forage for room development whether uh, calves are being let out uh, in the pre-weaning period or the post-weaning period. Grass um, <coughs> can be very lush, high in sugar and protein, so low fiber. So it's always important to provide that fiber source in terms of hay or straw um, and also providing a concentrate that is higher in fiber also. And this promotes um, cutting, rumination, um, to help in, to help stabilize the rumen environment and uh, development of microbes in the rumen. It is also important to remember that a calf's rumen is significantly smaller compared to an older animal. And this is why sudden changes or small changes within the diet has a significant impact on the calf. So this is why we see, uh, uh, particularly around weaning and transition to, to grass, to a grass diet um, causes uh, growth checks and sometimes also uh, wasting symptoms during, during this period. So it's important to avoid this by providing sufficient uh, concentrates and fiber within the diet to um, reduce any uh, potential growth checks. I hope you found that informative. You'll also notice that the herd disease screening results for March will be arriving in your uh, Glambia Connect account any day now. And use those results to assess the fluke and stomach worm control over the winter and see if those results show improvement in the situation. But also look at diseases such as IBR that may have been introduced into the herd during the housing and act accordingly. If you want any more information on these topics, please talk to your local Glambia representative or visit glambiaconnect.com.